now we are moving on to reviews and I've got a few reviews this week first up is ghost stories so ghost stories came out this year it's a horror film but it's a little different I don't think there are many horror films like this because what it is it's basically three short horror stories presented with an overarching narrative that connects them all and it's about a paranormal investigator who likes to debunk cases to prove them wrong and basically an old famous paranormal investigator hands them these three cases that he could never debunk and off you go these three stories are these cases so the paranormal investigator goes to the, each of these stories and tries to debunk them or does he because that's one of the problems with this film it's all about debunking these cases but you never actually see him do it <laughs> It's always, he just shows you the stories, shows you what happened, and then next thing you know, he's like, nah, that didn't happen. He doesn't really go into much detail on that point. That being said, the three short story elements of this, one is from the perspective of Paul Whitehouse, which is a brilliant short story in itself. Like, it's really, really well done. It's the best part of the movie. Really scary, really atmospheric and moody, and a great performance by Paul Whitehouse. The other one is from the guy from The End of the Effing World, brilliant actor he's gonna be something special at some point and yeah his is probably the weirdest of the three stories but yeah his performance really does carry you through it the final story is with Martin Freeman and a little underwhelming that one I'm gonna say but yeah the overarching narrative is fine I suppose it, it's the least interesting element of the film the problem is that the main character who is also the director and co-writer of this he's just not that interesting so the best parts of the film are the stories themselves rather than the main plot of the film and one of the problems I have with this film is the score the score of the film is really over the top over dramatic and it kind of when it Sometimes in horror films you get rid of the score, you get rid of all of the sounds, you get dead silent because that builds tension. But in this it kind of goes the opposite way and it uses the score to try and mimic that when it would have been better to just dial it back a bit. So yeah, the score is a little disappointing at times, particularly earlier in the film. But I really like this film up until the final 20 minutes. The final 20 minutes are bad, just bad. Because the film goes from being one thing to then being something else. And then it tries to explain what you've just seen. And it does a good job of explaining it at the end. The actual, the very end is actually okay. Because it does wrap up what you've seen and it does explain things. But it doesn't, the problem with the final 20 minutes is everything just goes a bit weird. And they try to be a bit smarter than what they actually are. And yeah. It's a little disappointing because it goes from being grounded to being what, fantasy basically so yeah going to do a little bit of spoilers now just to well full spoilers let's see so full spoilers if you don't want to know what happens stop here jump ahead to the next review but yeah the final 20 minutes the basically what happens is it turns out none of this is happening it's all in his mind and he's in a coma and all of the things are that you see here and all of the stories are just what this character is experiencing, seeing and hearing while being stuck in a hospital bed. So all the characters showing up are actually doctors and cleaners from the hospital. So it does a good job of actually explaining this at the end. But when it's revealing all of this information, when things start to fall apart and you've got characters pulling off their really bad prosthetic faces and you've got like them just swiping down like backgrounds as if they weren't there it just really takes you out of it and it's like what the hell is going on here but yeah it does wrap up pretty nicely but it's really disappointing that they went in that direction and they didn't try to keep it grounded and keep it being about ghost stories and horror so yeah disappointing ending but i would recommend the first like hour 10 minutes of this film and particularly the Paul Whitehouse short story, that could really be good as a standalone film itself, because that's really well done. So, yeah, that's Ghost Stories.